Are you tired of all the poi jargon? Sick of talking about timing and direction? Wanting to give your poor shoulders a break from flowers? Well, this is not the lesson for you then. Because today we are talking hybrids. I'm going to teach you your very first one and open you up to an entirely new world of poi tricks. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, teaching you poi spinning to benefit your body and brain during the COVID-19 quarantine. And today, I am bringing you on board with one of my favorite concepts in the poi world. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been out here for the better part of a couple hours and I've been just praying that at some point there would be some break in the clouds and I get just a little bit of a hint of blue, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it's in the cards. But that's all right, because we still have some fun stuff to work on. Namely, today is baby's first hybrid. Um, first, we need to talk about what a hybrid even is, because it looks cool, but what exactly makes it a hybrid and why is that important? So I did an entire video a few months back that I called the Poi Explainer that was all about hybrids, both the definition of them as well as various different types of hybrids because it turns out that this is a really, really diverse part of the Poi world. And if you want a super detailed explanation, you should go check out that video and I'll link to it down in the description. But suffice it to say, the short version is a hybrid occurs when we get our two poi doing two different things at the same time. So the hybrid that I'm demonstrating right now has an anti-spin flower and an in-spin flower occurring at the same time. And hybrids, as it turns out, are crazy useful, not only because they look cool, but also because they're a really important tool for transitioning between timing and direction combinations, as well as the fact that there are occasionally things that they can do that otherwise look to the audience like it's defying physics. So we're gonna ease into the hybrid world by first learning one that I think is gonna be a pretty good match for skills that you've already got under your belt. Um, the very first hybrid that was ever discovered was this one right here, isolation versus extension. Now, y'all out there don't know how to do isolations and they're really hard. So I'm gonna try and give you a hybrid that's made out of some pieces that you already know. And fortunately, we have the benefit of hindsight to be able to do some hybrids that are a little bit less challenging, but still maintain a lot of the core ideas. So if you don't already have these under your belt, I would highly recommend checking out my tutorials on timing and direction, as well as on how to do split time opposites anti-spin flowers, uh, as well as how to do in-spin flowers. If you've got all those under your belt, that's gonna make your life a lot easier today. I will go ahead and link to all of those tutorials down in the description as well. Okay, so if you have done my split time opposites anti-spin flowers tutorial, then what's about to happen is gonna feel very familiar to you. Um, in fact, your hands are going to be doing exactly the same thing. The only thing that's gonna change is what the poi are doing. So just to walk you through this right quick, um, go ahead and start with your right hand and it's gonna do all the standard stuff that we would expect doing an anti-spin flower. Namely, we're gonna pop it up, going to the left, and drop it down, going to the right. This is all with the poi spinning clockwise relative to you again, by the way. Popping up to the left, dropping down to the right. This is stuff that should feel pretty familiar by now. On the other hand, our left hand is also gonna be spinning clockwise, and it is gonna drop down and around, going to the left, and pop up and over, going to the right. Down and around, going to the left, up and over, going to the right. You're going to do in-spin pedals on your left side, your right side, your left side, your right side. But in between, you want to imagine that you're reaching the poi up and over towards the sky, down and around towards the ground. Up and over to the sky, down and around towards the ground, yeah? All right, now let's put those pieces together. I'm gonna go ahead and get the poi spinning over to my right-hand side, just like we did when we started learning our buzzsaw flowers. Both of them are turning clockwise, or it feels kind of like they're both going forwards to me right now as I look over to my right here. And of course, my right-hand poi is in between my arms and my left-hand poi is in front of them. Now, I'm gonna count down. Three, two, one. Right hand's gonna reach up, left hand's gonna reach down, and the poi are gonna do the same thing. The right hand poi goes straight up, and the left hand poi sweeps down and around. They meet back at my left hand side, and they should still be spinning split time, same direction. I'll show you that one more time. Three, two, one, they pop away from each other, and then back together. 
Cool. Now we're going to flip this around. So the right hand's going to go down and the left hand's going to go up. But the core idea is still the same. We want to get these poised far away from each other as we can possibly get them. So I'm going to count down. Three, two, one. Right goes down, left goes up, and they come back together at my right hand side. Let me show you that again. In three, two, one. Right goes down, left goes up. And again, that left hand sweeps around up towards the sky and the right hand dips down in between our feet, yeah? When you put the two of them together, boom, that's what happens. All right, so we're gonna do our standard superset operation here. That means we're gonna start off with our poi over here at our right hand side and we're gonna count down. Three, two, one, switch over. Three, two, one, switch over, yeah? Remember, first the right goes up, then the left goes up. That's really important here. All right, when you can do 10 of those in a row, go ahead and switch to doing them on twos. Thinking two, one, and go. Two, one, and go. Two, one, and go. Two, one, and go. And once again, practice this until you can do 10 of them without any problems before finally graduating to only doing a single beat on each side. And we're gonna count down three, two, one, and go. Think left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And hey, you're now performing a hybrid. That is, you're performing a four pedal anti-spin versus two pedal in-spin. Your uh, four pedal anti-spin is what we call diamond mode. That is, the pedals are pointing top, down, left, and right. And your two pedal in-spin has those two pedals off to the left and right hand sides, yeah? The benefit of this is that it makes sure that the poi always stay in split time same direction the whole way through. The trick, of course, is that the hands are in split time opposites. And I gotta say, I really love the feeling of this one because it takes some of the most exotic traits of timing and direction and remixes them in a particular way. Plus which, it's not that far a leap from what we already know about doing split time opposites anti-spin flowers. I don't know, there's just something really cool to me about seeing your arms do the split time opposites motion and having it being complemented by split time same direction. Cool, so let me show that to you right quick in slow-mo. So I will say without hesitation or apology that this is easily one of my favorite hybrids and it's one of my favorites to teach too. Uh, we're gonna find some uses for this in the coming weeks. So uh, make sure that that is good and built into your muscle memory, yeah? This is so weird. There's a house up the block that just started blaring country music at a really loud volume. I am so glad that this is the last video I have to record today. So funny story, um, a number of weeks ago I replaced the tethers in my normal set of contact poi with thicker tethers because thicker tethers show up just a little bit better on video and everything and I discovered that I don't like thicker tethers. Um, they're not as responsive to dance and the wonderful folks at Lantern Smith uh, took pity on me and helped me out in being a diva and sent a replacement pair so I now have a set of poi in the colors that I prefer to go dance with when I'm not shooting videos. Thank you, Lantern Smith. If you all out there would like to get hooked up with a set of these Emoja Contact Poi from Lantern Smith, and I recommend that you do, uh, you should head over to lanternsmith.com and use the promo code DREXFACTOR with a zero instead of an O. That'll get you 5% off of your order and it helps out the channel so everybody wins. And hey, if you're hungry for more hybrids, I have a recommendation for you. You should go check out the Beyond the Basics course over at my learning site at learn.drexfactor.com. It covers some additional hybrids, such as polyrhythm hybrids, like the Mercedes, you may have heard of that. Uh, and even better, it's available for 50% off right now if you use the promo code COVID. Uh, go ahead and challenge yourself and check out an awesome course in the process, yeah? It also covers things like behind the back and giants, things that I'm not going to be covering in this particular series. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Help other people find these videos and of course help me learn what is most helpful for you. If you're enjoying this project, seeing me upload a tutorial every single weekday during the COVID-19 outbreak, uh, please consider signing up to support this project over on Patreon like all of these nice folks did. 
Um, Patreon has been an absolute godsend to me during the pandemic, and the thing that has allowed me to have the freedom to be able to write, post, and put videos out there to the entire world every single day. So if you have the means, and I totally understand if you don't, but if you do, uh, head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You can get early access to all of my content before the rest of the world does, as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. So hopefully I will see you there. Please and thank you. So I actually recorded the combo for this week as the first video that I did today. And uh, past me doesn't know that he's about to get kicked off of the soccer field where I was shooting that video. So you're gonna see me in a slightly different environment tomorrow and I hope that's not jarring. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy that combo. I'll see you then. Peace.